Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petit. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to draft a pattern for a clear vinyl pocket just like this one. I love to use this type of pockets uh, for my stationery or sewing supplies and this particular project I made with some eyelets so I can add it to my binder. I love to use my binder as a cooking book and for some reason I can never find a pen or a pencil whenever I'm trying a new recipe. So if you would like to learn how to draft your own zipper pouch in any size you want, then keep on watching. As I mentioned, you can create this pouch in any size that you want. However, since I'm using A5 binder today and I want to make sure the uh, pouch fits inside my binder, I'm going to use the binder sleeve to get the right measurements because I want my pouch to be exact the same size. So I'm going to take one of those binder sleeves to draw my pattern. If you want to make your pocket in completely different size, simply decide on the height and width of your finished pocket. I'm going to measure my binder sleeve, so that's about 22 centimeters by 17 centimeters. So I'm going to write it down. Once you have those measurements, then you can draw a rectangle in that size. Then we need to decide on the size of the top trim where the eyelets are installed. So depending on your preference and also the size of your eyelets, I would recommend um, the pocket trim to be about 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters tall. So that's what I'm going to do. So simply you're going to measure 2.5 centimeters an inch and draw a line. If you are planning to use a directional print on your fabric, I highly recommend drawing a grain line on your pattern. So that will go in this direction because as you know, the pocket sits like this inside your binder. However, if you are not planning to use your pocket inside your binder, you may want to draw the grain line like this. So it really depends if you're going to use your pocket like this or like this, which direction your uh, fabric will run. So I'm going to keep it as it is and draw my grain line in that direction. Make sure you also label your draft so you know exactly what it is. So I'm going to call it a binder pouch and this is going to be the pocket and this one will be the trim. So I'm going to call it binder pouch and that is the trim. To keep this project nice and neat and to keep all the edges hidden I added that trim here which means that I don't see the edges of my clear vinyl or the zipper edge. So I decided to add 12 millimeters or half an inch trim along my zipper. So to create the pattern you need to double the amount because the, both edges are folded onto itself with wrong sides together. So there is a nice neat finish on each side. So whatever the width you want that zipper trim to be, double the width and create the pattern piece for that. I'm going to add a note to my draft uh, about this uh, particular pattern piece so then I can create the actual pattern. And this will be the same width as my pocket, so that's 22 centimeters. And as I mentioned, it is 12 millimeters or half an inch uh, tall, so I need to double that uh, amount to create the pattern piece. So that will be by 2.5 centimeters. Our draft is now finished, so next we can create individual pattern pieces. To do that, you're going to take a tracing paper, and I like to use a masking tape so I can keep it in place. And then you're going to transfer individual pieces. So first, we're going to transfer the pocket piece 
make sure you transfer your grain line once you have this traced then you can label your pattern and add seam allowance so as a reminder i use a binding along the side and bottom edges which means i don't have to add any seam allowance to my pattern however i need to add seam allowance around the top edge so if i turn it over this is the pattern piece that we have just drafted and we need to add extra seam allowance around the top so we can add and sew the top trim and that pocket together so i'm going to use one centimeter seam allowance and just add it along the top edge just like that and i can extend the side edges because I'm not adding any seam allowance to them. This way, when I finish sewing the pocket and the last step is to add binding, if my pocket is a little bit too high, I can always trim the bottom edge, but I don't have to worry about suddenly it's, it's shorter than it should be. So that's why it's good to add that extra seam allowance here. So now I'm going to label my pattern. So I'm going to write binder pouch and this is the pocket and i need to cut it one time from clear vinyl so that's the front portion of my pocket so one time clear vinyl and then you need two pieces from the fabric so one is that lining piece and then the exterior piece plus cut one time from external fabric and lining fabric this is the first pattern piece so now we can cut it out next we're going to make the pattern for our trim so that's the top portion here so we can start tracing it but because this piece goes on the front and also on the back and it's folded along that edge here we need to make sure it is twice the height so again, if you want, you can simply trace it once and then move your draft, line it up and trace it again. Alternatively, you can use the actual measurements and draft it again. All right, so I'm going to use that center line to simply draw my grain line. Next, we can add seam allowance. So again, we're going to add one centimeter seam allowance around the edge here. But because this goes on one side and on the other side, we need to add seam allowance along both long edges. So again, I'm going to measure one centimeter seam allowance and draw a line, do that on both sides and extend the side edges. Here we go, just like that. And then I'm going to label my pattern, binder pouch. This is trim and we need to cut it one time from external fabric. This pattern is ready, so go ahead and cut it out. And lastly, using those measurements, you can draft your zipper trim pattern piece. make sure you draw a grain line all right so this is binder pouch and we call this zipper trim and we need to cut it twice from external fabric because as you remember this goes on the outside and also on the inside so if you want you can cut it once from external fabric and once from your lining fabric it's up to you and that pattern piece is finished so we can cut it out in the next video i will show you how to sew this zipper pouch using the pattern that we have created so if you don't want to miss it make sure you subscribe to my channel see you next time stay crafty friends